Trigger warning, strong horror elements, not suitable for young audiences. The, the, these who are weak stomach, weak stomached or who suffer from durational, du, du, duration or whatever, possible, um, possible flash warning for those who are photosensitive. Your discretion is advised. Hey folks, this is Wistful Deal here, and welcome to an analog horror reaction here. This one's called The Ugly Duckling. Now, I never seen this one before, and I legit, this legit just popped up out of nowhere while looking through analog horror videos and stuff. And so I figured, let's go ahead and give this one a shot. Check this one out here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and give my reaction, see what the heck this is, because I love analog horror. So I'm curious to know who the hell is the ugly duckling here. Also, link will be in the description below for you folks to so go ahead and check the out for yourselves. Created by four seven seven nine seven four zero one. No, I didn't make it. Once upon a time, by a peaceful lake, an author swan was laying her eggs. Little did she know, one of her offspring was born different. It was a duckling. Look at this ugly thing, said one of the signets, as they peered at their sibling. The mother swan looked at the duckling with disgust. This is not one of my children, she said as she pecked at it, pushing the hatchling away from the nest. That's harsh. You're a freak and you know it. You will never be beautiful. The duckling oh, cried damn. as its family relentlessly shamed it. Day after day, the family would mistreat the duckling, making fun of its appearance. The swans constantly pointed out their differences such as their size or beaks, though they mainly ridiculed the duck's feathers. This is such like a racist thing right off the damn bad damn. Duck racism. Duck, duck racism, whatever. Racist to ducks. Your feathers are plain and gross, like dirt. Damn. Damn. You could only dream of having a coat like ours. One day, the duckling disappeared. Good yeah, riddance, one of the siblings. That run was tainting our family. Many suns and many moons passed, and before they knew it, they had all grown into graceful and elegant swans. But it has come time for all of you to find a place of your own. This is legit like Rudolph, but in a spring setting, not Christmas, and it's ducks. Wait, is there a Rudolph Red Nose Reindeer analog horror? Ooh, if there is, I am so gonna check that out for Christmas. <laughs> anyway, back on track. That thought just came on my head. I trust really. that all of you will be able to have a beautiful family like ours and continue our pure bloodline. And not like that okay, duckling. Okay, mother, farewell. They squawked, then darted off along the lake. Gliding along the water, the swan siblings reminisced about the past. It's a shame, really, said one of the swans. Although he wasn't a looker, it does feel strange that he has left us. Oh, please. What do you mean? It doesn't feel strange to me. It feels justified, honestly. It's silly, as if you care what happened to that thing. Exactly. If you ask me, between his shitty feathers and that weird stare, it's a blessing that he's out of the picture. Simon, that's horrible. Just because he was a little different, didn't mean we had to be such dicks as kids. <laughs> oh. Loosen up, Sylvie. Besides, what good does Terry do now? Whatever, Simon. Mom praising your cult has got oh, shit. in your head. <laughs> it's getting dark. Where is everyone? Whoa. Seasons passed, and the mother swan decided it was time to reunite with her kids. Disappointed that they never came to visit, she swam the route along the lake that her children once did, many moons ago. 
It is awfully quiet here, thought Mother Swan, as she passed the reeds of what she assumed. She's gonna get the ultimate hell treatment, I bet. Instead of instead of accepting him or whatever as her own, she's gonna get the ultimate punishment of them all. But shelter her offspring. She found it odd, now to think of it, that she hadn't heard from her kids after all these years. You get what you fucking deserve in words of Arthur, a Joker from 2019. You get what you fucking deserve. Turning the bend, she hopped out of the water and made her way to the barn. Simon said he was going to move here, she pondered. I wonder if he's finally got some hatchlings of his own. Oh, he the did, all right. The barn house, Mother Swan called out. <laughs> Simon, Mother is home. There was silence. The door was left to jar. Simon, come on, darling. I want to see how my beautiful boy has... <laughs> Oh, shit. Every day I won't build, and every day I was reminded that I am inadequate. You're a freak, an ugly freak. Your feathers, your beak. Good luck trying to keep your perfect family. It will be hard to continue your pure bloodline if everyone is dead. You want to know what I've done? I think you know. I have become beautiful. No one came looking for me when I disappeared. And now, no one will come looking for you. That honestly was more... That was more depressing than horror type. I mean, don't get me wrong. It was definitely horror elements, especially at that freaking ending there. Jeez. Actually, it made me jump, though. But that was more just sad than anything. I mean, honestly, I'm full on board. It makes me think of legit 2019 Joker vibes, where he just gets exiled and isolated from society finally and now that he's an adult and everything it's like oh now you come back now you give a shit about me yeah no honestly i don't blame i don't blame the ugly duckling he's not even that ugly to begin with honestly he's just it's legit just like rudolph just different oh that would be so cool honestly if there was that would be cool if there was, like, a analog horror of Rudolph. But have a similar scenario to this. Well, I don't know. He comes back as some psycho killer or some shit. I don't know. But I, I don't know why. I like that idea now. But, yeah, damn. Ugly Duckling wasn't even that ugly. So they cast him out. Then eventually, so many years later, he comes out. He kills all the children, his cousins, whatever, in some sense, and gets them over. Classical, cliched story of what happens when you don't accept everyone as your own and treat them all the same. Classical, cliche, dumb story. But yeah, I'm curious to know what you folks think of this one here. I definitely enjoyed this one. That definitely got a good scare out of me, jeez. But I'm curious to know what you folks think of this one here. So, yeah, like I said, the link for this will be in the description below for you folks to go ahead and check out. It was This was just more depressing than horror bait. But you know what? Part of, part of scary is empathizing with the monster. And you know what? I feel for this damn duckling. You know, he's not ugly. He's a freaking hero or some shit. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, that's enough for this video here. Hope you folks enjoyed this one. Be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe for more, and I'll see you all sooner or later. Bye-bye, everyone.